Hi Sand Hollow families. I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about bringing home a new puppy. I give you paperwork when you come and get your puppy, but um, sometimes it's nice just to watch a video. So I wanted to kind of tell you what our paperwork says so that you can be ready when it's time to bring your babies home. So the first thing is I will send home a paper that has their shot record on it. It will have a copy of their vet check and it'll have their weight and temperature, things like that on there. Um, I'll also have puppy feeding instructions. We are currently feeding Purina Pro Plan Puppy and we usually use the Pro Plan Saver. It comes in an orange bag and it's got a puppy that looks like a golden retriever pup on it. It's a really great food. You're welcome to keep your puppy on that or you can um, use the food that I send home with you to transition them to something else. It's up to you. But we really love that food. Um, another thing to remember is that a puppy is a baby and we don't want to feed it anything like table scraps and not a lot of treats, especially when you first get puppy home. Um, he's going to be confused and a little sad and so feeding them too much uh, junk food can bother their stomachs. When you get your puppy, I will have been feeding her three times a day about a half a cup of food. So you can keep puppy on that for a few days and then uh, once they kind of get acclimatized you can do uh, that same schedule, you can move them to twice a day if that works better with your family schedule. Um, or you can also give them free choice. Uh, most of the puppies do fine that way and that they can just kind of go over and eat whenever they want to. And that works really well too. You'll just have to kind of play with your puppy and see which way works best for you and your family and him. Another thing to remember is that they are in a new situation and their little tummies can get upset easily. They can be under stress. So um, inviting all of your friends and family over to see the new puppy and everyone being super excited and passing it around is not a good idea <laughs> um, in the first few days. Um, little sh quick visits would be fine. Um, keep puppy kind of quiet and just let him snuggle with your family and get used to your family. And then in a few days, you can bring family over to show them your new addition and they'll do a lot better. If you see a puppy, a, a little puppy yawn, that is a really good sign that he is under stress and that he needs to be put in his crate for a while and let him rest. So um, that's one little thing I wanted to share with you. Um, another thing is uh, if you need a training program. You can find someone local, you know, there's pet stores that do a really great job uh, with teaching you how to train your puppy and things like that. So you could always look for one of those. But I have this really cool um, online program that um, we love. It's called Baxter and Bella Online Puppy School. And they are based out of Utah, the northern part of Utah. Uh, they reached out to me a couple of years ago and I just really loved their program. And so um, you'll find links to it on our Facebook page and on our website. Um, it's a really great program and it's something that you do online with your family. So your family learns how to take care of a puppy and train a puppy while you're training. So everyone knows the right words to use and um, they can feel confident in their skills. Um, sometimes if you have, have your puppy trained somewhere else, um, you maybe don't know how to do it quite as well. And so anyway, this is a really great option, especially for families. Um, Amy Jensen is the owner and the trainer. She has all kinds of videos on there. She has podcasts. She also has a, a time that you can call in and ask questions. She has a Facebook page with things on there. She has all kinds of charts, and I think I said videos, but little short videos to help you go along with each of the lessons. And if you decide that you want to do that program, use uh, our coupon code, it's Sand Hollow, and you get 25% off of the price, and it's already a great price um, for it. 
anyway, uh, I hope this has given you some good ideas on uh, some things to do as you get ready for your puppy. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, you'll want to have a crate for your puppy, something that you can travel in. Um, you could do a wire one in your house and then get a little uh, plastic one for traveling if you want. When you come and get your puppy, if you come to my house, um, they will just like to snuggle with you all the way home. So you don't necessarily need one of those unless you're gonna go a really long way and then you might want one for that. Um, but that kind of a thing, you'll need a leash. He comes with a collar. Um, you'll need some little bowls for food. A couple of toys would, wouldn't hurt. Um, some little puppy pee pads to go in the bottom of your crate would be good too. And uh, again, on that Baxter and Bella site, Amy has a really great list um, and she has links too of where you can buy all this kind of stuff and probably some other things that I haven't said. So anyway, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me or Militia. We would love to talk to you about puppies. Otherwise, we will see you when you come to get your pup.